Well, I talked myself out of it. I thought I, it was a glimmer in my mind. I was like, maybe he's gonna propose and this is all a big thing. And then I was like, no, 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 no. with it where it didn't matter what we were doing because she probably would have thought it was going to happen anyway. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're Any... going out to church. Oh, I might get engaged. <laughs> <laughs> out of church. Dana woke up this morning. Oh, I might get engaged. Like, she's going to the bathroom. Is he getting in the ring? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kroger might get proposed. Like, yeah, you, never you never know. I met Marissa six years ago at NKU. She looked like the most normal person to make friends with. And I quickly found out that I was completely wrong. Marissa, you may not be normal, but it did not take us long to be best friends. Dave and I have been dating four and a half years. It was end of COVID and I hadn't seen any of my family for two years. It was a month after his birthday. His mom said he wanted to throw a birthday party for him because he just turned 25. And so I thought it was a big surprise party for him. And we get to his mom's clubhouse. There's a million people there. I think, who the heck invited all these people just for a birthday party? It so it was all our family. Yeah, yeah it was all sense. family friends. But I was like, this many people just for his 25th birthday? It's been a, a very, very beautiful day so far. I think everybody would agree to that. And, um, you know, again, I'm, on behalf of myself and, and the Lampkeys and my wife, Laura, uh, would welcome you all here. A lot of people came from a very far distance to be with us, and this kind of demonstrates the, the love that David and Marissa had for everybody in this room. You look nice. <laughs> wow. Goodness. Like it? You're gonna keep crying all day? Yes. <laughs> this is my second time already. All right, well. You like it? It's beautiful. The way Marissa said it was, you know, like, they were like, he was a cute acquaintance. That's how she described David, a cute acquaintance, and nothing more than that. these years later somehow they met through a mutual friend and lo and behold I think it was David's mother who found a photograph of them back here in high school was it in my mind? When written, in the street? it's a Friday night football game and Dave is running through the banner first breaking the banner and right off to the side the cheerleader first cheerleader in the picture is Marissa so all these years later I guess they're meant to be together so I've known David since I was two years old he was the new guy that moved in next door here we are 20, 
five years, and I called your mom, mom. I called you my brother, almost more than my own brother. Was it in my mind? Justine said, let's get a picture. Mom wants a picture real quick. And I was like, okay, say less. And so we got a picture. Um, he turned around, got down on one knee, and he turned me around right after that and surprised me with my grandma, who I hadn't seen in two, in two years. <laughs> He did work as hard as he can to get try and get her here today, but unfortunately that didn't work out. But he was really sweet. He wanted to make sure all the grandmothers were included and make sure they were the most important thing in that moment because they're the most important thing to us. The first time I met David, I had a feeling I was going to be the third wheel for the rest of my life. <laughs> that was probably because I was the only other person on their first date. I'm thankful that I got to be a part of your relationship from day one and to witness my best friend falling in love with her soulmate. Mr. and Mrs. David and Marissa Lampton. Sweet.